2023 Audi RS e-tron GT review, a six-figure bargain. But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. If you're going to cheat, be sure you're cheating off the smartest kid in class. Audi seems to have taken that sinful lesson to heart with its e-tron GT, the EV sedan that shares its platform, battery technology, and two-speed rear gearbox with the stellar Porsche Taycan. Now, to be fair, the car's architecture was jointly developed by both Porsche and Audi, but as the first version to hit the market, the Taycan earned itself plenty of fans, my fellow editors and I among them. So how does the RS e-tron GT, which shares so much with the Taycan, fare against those high expectations? Luckily for Audi, its flagship EV has a personality all its own, one that's just as appealing as the slinky Porsche, even without considering the e-tron GT's lower cost. Opinions are like armpits, everyone's got M and they all stink. Well, my personal armpit is that the Porsche Taycan's smooth body sides, 911 aping front end, and curvaceous haunches are prettier than the RS e-tron GT's angular styling and faux single frame grille. At least for 2023, the front-end insert is now body color instead of monolithic dark gray, and the RS e-tron GT still benefits from the long, low, sleek stance that the architecture dictates. My other armpit tells me that the Audi e-tron GT's interior is actually nicer to look at than the Taycan's. The beveled, techno-chic appearance is far more futuristic, and every surface is coated in rich materials, the seats get honeycomb-quilted Nappa leather, the dashboard is covered in genuine hide, there are sweeping spears of matte carbon fiber trim, and the Dinamica suede headliner looks posh and cosseting. Although it doesn't offer the Porsche's funky rose gold accents, Audi does a good job of making the RS e-tron GT feel contemporary and stylish, especially with the Aris red colorway livening up the severe Camorra gray paintwork. Riding low on massive 21-inch wheels, I was expecting the RS e-tron GT to exact a right comfort toll in exchange for its brilliant stance. But thanks to a standard three-chamber air suspension and superbly tuned dampers, the Audi handles rough pavement with poise. It's impossible to defy physics completely, but impacts mostly get smothered by the air springs, with only a muted thwump making its way to your backside. Dual-pane front windows and an RS standard carbon roof, replacing fixed glass on lesser e-tron GTs, also ensure a quiet ride. The lightweight roof structure, however, reduces headroom a bit compared to the panoramic glass, and it makes the cabin feel cozier, some might say more claustrophobic. There's plenty of space up front, to be sure, but your rear seat passengers had best be small to medium if they want to fit within the 36.5 inches of headroom and 32.2 inches of legroom back there. There also isn't a ton of space for stuff, either inside the cabin or in the 9.2 cubic foot rear trunk. At least there's a nominal 1.8 cubes under the hood, perfect for hauling around emergency supplies, a first aid kit, and other seldom used, but still important, gear. The RS e-tron comes with a standard 12.3 inch digital instrument cluster and a decently sized 10.1 inch infotainment touchscreen. The former, dubbed Audi Virtual Cockpit, boasts plenty of customization, including a full-screen map display, track-focused graphics, or traditional gauges. The latter is easy to learn and use on the fly, although it requires harder finger presses than I might otherwise like because of its haptic feedback. Audi doesn't offer the Taycan's optional passenger display, which feels like overkill to me, but some customers might miss it. The standard Bang & Olufsen sound system is excellent, and the tweeter's mechanized ballet on startup and shutdown is fun to watch. Lossless audio sources yield crystal clear sound, and the audio system even filters out some of the tinny harshness found on satellite radio. The RS e-tron GT's ambient lighting is customizable, although it doesn't offer the animations or flowing color shift of the Mercedes AMG EQS. Still, the whole tech suite is easy to use and enhances the experience almost universally. With up to 637 horsepower in boost mode, 590 ponies the rest of the time, the Audi RS e-tron GT splits the output difference between the 590 horsepower Porsche Taycan GTS and the 670 horsepower Taycan Turbo. The Audi also gets the same two-speed transmission incorporated into the rear axle motor as the Taycan lineup, 
The front axle motor is single speed only, giving it far better acceleration once you're already on the go. While many EVs run out of steam once at freeway speed, the RS e-tron GT still has more to give. The net result of that wizardry is a 0 to 60 time of 3.1 seconds, 4 tenths quicker than the Taycan GTS and just 1 tenth down on the turbo. The Audi RS e-tron GT is less involving than its Porsche Ken, with slightly aloof steering that seems to prefer high-speed grand touring more than max attack canyoneering. Still, with the suspension set to its firmest, but still not harsh, dynamic setting and abundant grip from the Goodyear Eagle F1 summer tires, the RS e-tron GT is exciting to hustle up a fun road, with neutral manners and quick responses that inspire tons of confidence. Unfortunately, both Porsche and Audi suffer for not offering one-pedal driving, with throttle-off regeneration that feels like engine braking. The driver can call for more by flapping the left steering wheel paddle, but even with maximum Reagan, you still have to use the brake pedal below 10 mph or so. And the system defaults to its least aggressive setting when you start off from a stop, requiring you to repeat the process next time. The optional carbon ceramic brakes, featuring massive 16.4-inch front and 16.1-inch rear discs, is up to the task of slowing the 5,139-pound sedan, but it'd be nice if the electric motors did more of the work. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.